The Craven meeting here at Newmarket marks the unofficial start of the flat season and a first chance to see classic contenders on the turf. Quietly fancied to be among the town's top trainers this year is William Haggis, who has some very smart prospects among his 140-strong team at Somerville Lodge Stables. Chief among them is unbeaten Guinness hope, Rosh de Queen. William, it's been one of the coldest winters in uh, in recent memory. How's that impacted on, on you getting ready for the new season? It's been painful, it's been hard work, it's been hard work for everyone. It's the wind that's done it, but you must remember that horses are much more resilient than people. And while we were all frozen to death, they really haven't batted an eyelid. The problem has been wanting to force them, especially for these early races and not having the guts to let them come themselves and, and that's the difficulty but hopefully we've been at it long enough to know that you've just got to wait and if it happens it happens. And there's just a month till the uh, the 1000 guineas at this stage, Roche de Queen is she where you want her to be? Exactly, um, you know I'm very happy, been very happy with her all along and, and you know I, I, I want to run her and I'll be more nervous than anyone else, bar possibly her owner. And if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, we'll regroup. So we'll, we'll run her in the Fred Darling and see. And so the plan is to have a prep first? Very much so, yeah. I, I want to, you know, if she does end up being a sprinter, and one thing I can't do is go to the Guineas and run with a choke out. She must be focused, fit, and just ready to go. So we'll give her a run first. And realistically, how, how do you think she'll get on with the mile trip? I think she'll stay a mile, but I'm not sure whether she'll be as good at a mile. So that's a real waffly reply. Ground-wise, soft, would that be a, a big concern? I don't think, you know, she's had a few knee issues as a two-year-old. I'm not sure horses with knee problems where you think they'd be more comfortable on soft ground. I think they lose their way on soft ground, and that would be a concern. But, uh, you know, we, we'll see. We, we don't know. On the near side is Rush Do Queen. Rush Do Queen on the near side has gone clear. Racing up towards line, a winning debut for Rush Do Queen for William Haggis and Philip Making. Rush Do Queen. She's had four different jockeys in her four runs so far. Any any riding arrangements made? I hope uh, Johnny Murta will come over and ride her next Saturday, and then uh, he can decide whether he wants to keep going with her at um, in, in the Guineas. Just running through a couple of uh, your other classic prospects, our obsession entered in the Guineas. What's the plan for her? I don't think she'll make the Guineas. She's not. I don't think she's quick enough. But she's definitely a nice stayer and a damn one near Cheshire Oaks. And I see her as more a mile and a quarter, possibly a mile and a half. I haven't discussed it with Mr. Oppenheimer yet, but I think we'll go for a trial, and then look at the Oaks or maybe the. We put her in the Irish Oaks last year for this year's renewal. Um, so we'll see. And Lady Noof, what's the plan yeah, for her? She, she'll go for the Nelgwyn and then on, on to the Guineas if she runs well. And longer term, would she be an Oaks prospect? Uh, I'm not sure she'll stay. She's probably a mile and a quarter. I'm not sure she'll stay. couple we saw on the gallops earlier, uh, Harris Tweed and Guarantee. Yeah, they're fine, they're nice old stairs. Uh, Guarantee will go for the John Porter and Harris Tweed, not. It's a nice horse. Who's that? That's Fast or Free, who won the Britannia and never ran since. He's had a leg, a tendon, so he's uh, he's just come back and we'll aim him for something smart later on. Any, any targets mapped out for him yet? Um, Oh, I don't know, maybe something at York in mid-July. Something to do with beer, isn't it? I can't remember. <laughs> the John Smith. Possibly. I've always loved him. He, he, he's a very strong traveller, and I thought he should have won at Ascot, the 150 grand race in September. He's in good form. He's going to run in a mile and a half handicap at... Uh, 
Newmarket on Thousand Guineas Day and then we put him in the Coronation Cup, that's probably because the owners are in Vestec, so um, that made sense. Whether he's quite up to that yet, but he might well be um, a Hardwick horse. And one horse we saw at Epsom last year, Val, uh, where are we likely to see her? Yeah, Val's in the Middleton and I'm not sure she'll be ready. I, I haven't really got into her yet. The most important thing is that she gets her action back. She went off a bit after uh, a stupid trainer ran her in the Ribblesdale. She's never quite the same, but she, we think she's in good form now. And so we'll get her fit and then, then plan accordingly. Put you on the spot. One final question. A, a horse to follow for the season for viewers? At the race course. Yeah. McCadron. Yeah, sure.